Hello everyone, my name is Cap and welcome back to the channel, another 7 days to die video. I'm doing all this in Alpha 16.4 on the PC, but this is going to be a PC specific thing because today I'm going to cover a specific mod. I've mentioned it a bunch of times in videos and people have asked me still a lot of times as to how I got all this extra information on my screen on the HUD here. And I'm using this simple UI mod. So today I'm going to show you guys how to install it. It's really simple to do, but I know there's a lot of people that aren't exactly savvy when it comes to doing this sort of thing. So I'm going to try to make it as easy as possible. There's a couple different versions of the UI mod that you can get here. I'm using just the basic simple UI mod, which you can see it as the experience bar above the tool belt down there. It removes some of the borders, added the kill count, the death count, your level. Up at the time, you can see you got the elevation, you got the temperature. On the left side, you got your water and your food bar over there and your uh, overall temperature itself there's just a lot of other information here now there's different versions too that if it you don't want the extra storage it gives you or whatever you can download the simple UI mod light uh, I'm gonna put a link to this in the video description so you can go check it out but I'll show you actually how to go about downloading this so let's get it all started all right, first things first. Before we can do anything else, of course, we're going to have to download it. Now, I said before, the link is in the video description down below. It's going to take you to this page, which is just the basic simple UI mod page here. It's got a link to the simple UI plus mod, which gives you a bigger backpack and some additional information there. And there's information on here of the simple UI no storage mod and the simple UI light mod. Each one kind of has their own thing. Kind of tells you a little bit down here what the changes are between that and what we're looking at. But for this tutorial, we're doing just the simple UI mod. So if you scroll all the way down to the bottom here, you'll see the different download links, manual download links. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get just the simple UI version 0.9. If you click on it, it's going to take you to a spot where you can download the file. So you click it and save it to wherever you want to save it. Like for me, I have it saved to my desktop here. Okay, so the next thing you're going to need to do is to open up your 7 days to die installation file. I know where mine is actually saved at. I have it saved to a different hard drive here. If you're not sure how to access the save files, go open up Steam and go over to your 7 days to die games list over here on the side. Right click it and go down to properties. And then from over here on the local files tab at the top, you can see where it says browse local files. And if you click this, it'll open up the installation folder. If you didn't change anything at all when you installed Steam in the game, this is going to be on your C drive. To me, I have it on a separate hard drive entirely. Okay, once you actually have it downloaded here, all you have to do is just double click it to open it up here. Um, if you're not using something like I'm using here, WinRAR or 7-Zip or WinZip or whatever, it'll open up the default Windows compressed folder thing. It'll work just fine here, but this is just what I have. So then all you have to do is just make sure you have your 7 days that I folder open. You're going to see that this has got a data file here and this has got a data file over here. So then all you have to do is just left click it drag it over here and it'll ask you if you want to be able to replace the file so you just click on yes now do keep in mind if you have any other mods installed that this may overlap with some of those and so you're going to have to merge those that's an entirely different concept i'm definitely not doing a walkthrough on how to merge those um, some things like the Val mod has a version of this that you can work with and there's a little bit more work to go with it. But just for doing the simple UI mod, that's all you have to do. Just copy those files over, replace it when it asks you to, and you are good to go. Okay, and then once you load the game up here, you'll see all the new information that the mod adds to your HUD here. So it's pretty simple, not really that complicated to do so. But like I said, I know not a lot of people are super computer savvy or comfortable with doing things like that. So I want to try and make it as easy as possible here. But that's pretty much it. Now let's say hypothetically you want to get rid of the mod you're tired of using here. The easiest way to do it is go back into your Steam installation and over on the left where it has your 7 days that I installed, just right click and go down to properties. And then again on the local files tab at the top here, what you're going to do is click on verify integrity of game files. And this will re-download any files that have been changed or modified from the published version of the files. And it'll restore your game back to the original way that it was installed. And it'll override any and all mods, not just a simple UI mod. So only click this if you're you're ready to go back to the vanilla version of the game. So there you have it. Hopefully this was useful to you guys. If you did enjoy the video, do me a favor and hit that thumbs up button down below the video. And be sure to subscribe if you're not already so you don't miss it on future uploads. And if you click the little bell icon, you can be part of the notification squad and get emails right when everything goes live. So thank you guys so much for all your time and support and love on the videos. You guys are awesome. You guys have a wonderful day and I'll talk to you later.